The Honorable Ayanna Webster Roy, Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister, Gender and Child Affairs, Ms. Marina Walter, UN Resident Coordinator, Dr. Alois Kumaraje, UNICEF Representative for the Eastern Caribbean Area, Ms. Mary Munan, Childline Coordinator, Children, Parents and Guardians, Members of the Viewing Public, welcome. My name is Levon Solomon and I'm the Program Manager of Childline. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to the official launch of the My Childline app. The My Childline app is a childline initiative that is supported by UNICEF, and the app is designed to be a digital hub for easy access to child welfare and protection services available through all Trinidad and Tobago. Likewise, it is meant to be a present day means of reaching children and young persons in the age of readily available information and in the digital era. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Childline's coordinator, Ms. Mary Munan. Welcome everyone to the official launch of the Childline app. In 2001, Childline was formed with the mission to improve the welfare and protection of children in Trinidad and Tobago. During the 19 years since then, Thailand has continuously evolved and adapted its services to meet changing needs and standards. We now offer a 24-hour, 365-day helpline service, outreach services, as well as online web chat and counselling. The arrival of COVID pandemic in March 2020 has forever changed life as we knew it. Public health restrictions has resulted in the closure of all schools, the introduction of social distancing and the elimination of crowds gathering. The world was forced to become digital with virtual learning replacing the traditional school buildings with classrooms. In response to this increasing reliance on technology, Chilean has adapted to function mainly through virtual means. As a result, Chilean has developed a mobile app to increase the reach of our services. It is called the My Chilean app. Now some of the main features of this app include that it is meant to be a digital hub for all things related to child protection. It's available in English, French and significantly Spanish in recognition and support of the Venezuelan migrant children in our midst. It's available in both Android and Apple formats and it provides direct access to Chilean's helpline and website. It also provides direct access to the UNICEF website. Uh, through the Chilean app, you can also contact emergency numbers directly, such as the police, the ambulance services, 
and fire services and other resources. It includes a calendar with a daily mood tracker and it is child friendly and extremely attractive. These are just some of the features. There are other features that will be shown in detail in a demo that will be shown later. This initiative is kindly supported by UNICEF of the Eastern Caribbean area. We wish to acknowledge with sincere thanks their support of this app as well as other projects that we have done in the past and are ongoing. We also thank the Office of the Prime Minister, Gender and Child Affairs Unit for its kind and continued support of Childline. We deeply appreciate the collaboration and partnership we share with these two unique and distinguished organizations over many years. Our work in service to the vulnerable and at-risk children of Trinidad and Tobago is only possible with your kind support and encouragement. Our sincere thanks. And now I invite everyone to please download the My Chiline app from either Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Thank you. Hey there, here's some exciting news. Chiline, together with UNICEF, created an app for children and young persons. A selection of cool and colorful avatars to choose from? Check. Need somewhere private to write your thoughts and feelings? Check. How about a place to keep track of your daily news? Check. Also, if you ever need someone to talk to, Chiline's toll-free helpline is always a click away. Or someone is always waiting on the other end of a live chat to talk about anything. The Chiline app also places your rights as a child in the palm of your hand. Just ask Nessa. There are also other fun, educational, safety and helpful resources available on the app. Download the Chiline app today and you too can have access to all the sun more. This initiative was made possible by UNICEF and we are grateful to have their support as with so many other of our Childline projects. Today we hear from Dr. Alois Kumaraje, UNICEF representative for the Eastern Caribbean area. Dr. Kumaraje? Today marks a key milestone as UNICEF together with Childline Trinidad and Tobago are pleased to launch the My Child Line mobile application as an innovation in the provision of remote psychosocial support to children and their families. While the full impact and long-term fallout of COVID-19 is still unclear, there is one thing we do know, the mental health and psychosocial impact on the lives of children and adolescents and their families will be significant. Almost 2.3 billion children now live in countries that have imposed some form of movement restrictions as a result of COVID-19. Foremost, these restrictions mean no school, no meetups with friends, limited recreation activities, and the inability of children in humanitarian settings 
to access safe species for essential support to their well-being. UNESCO estimates that 1.5 billion learners, over 90% of the world's student population, have been impacted by national closures of educational institutions due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This interruption is one of the most significant stressors on children and families. When this is combined with the distress of worrying about getting sick or having loved ones become ill or die, noticing their parents' concerns over potentially losing jobs, and increased tensions with, within the households, it can lead to feelings of helplessness and increased vulnerability to poor mental health. Adolescents have unique needs during COVID-19 due to missing out on events, loss of autonomy, and missing direct interaction with their peer groups. This may increase feelings of anxiety, frustration, anger, difficulty in concentrating on homeschooling, depression, isolation, and self-harm. Parents and caregivers have also been affected and need help as they provide the necessary environment and support for children to cope during this crisis. Therefore, looking after mental health and psychosocial support needs of children and the entire family unit is essential. Ensuring support for families during this pandemic has heightened the need to adopt flexible and innovative approaches using remote technologies to ensure continuity of access to psychosocial support. The My Child Line app provides children with an array of child-friendly resources conveniently available in the palm of their hands. Available in English, Spanish and French, the app connects its users to key child protection support services, including direct access to national toll-free hotlines, developmentally appropriate resources, and interactive activities. With the online chat feature, children have quick and easy access to direct psychosocial support, TV counseling, and adequate information which can support re-establishing a sense of safety. At UNICEF, we remain committed to ensuring that psychosocial support systems are strengthened to promote child and family well-being by reducing and preventing harm, strengthening resilience to recover from adversity and improving the conditions that enable children and families to survive and thrive. I invite you all to download the My Child Learn app and share it with your friends and family. Thank you. In August 2020, we tested the app with five children representing various age groups from the local and migrant community. The children thoroughly enjoyed the navigating the features of the My Chaland app, which you can see for yourself from the following reaction video. Enjoy!
in Trinidad and Tobago, the United Nations system is represented by Ms. Mariana Walter. She's the UN resident coordinator for Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname, Aruba, Curacao, and St. Martin. We appreciate the fact that she took time from her busy schedule to be a part of this regional milestone that is the My Child Line app. Hello, my name is Marina Walter and I'm the United Nations Resident Coordinator for Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm very excited to support mental health solutions for the children of the Eastern Caribbean. COVID-19 has dramatically increased mental health issues for people of all ages. But this pandemic has been particularly hard on children and adolescents battling new stresses in crucial formative years. As a mother, I can see that in my own home. Children are experiencing unprecedented isolation as they remain confined indoors to prevent the spread of COVID-19. They're anxious, seeing loved ones hospitalized with COVID-19 or are grieving for relatives who died from the disease. They're navigating a new learning environment online or struggling to afford a device to continue their education. This virus has robbed them of birthday parties, graduations, and outdoor recreation, making the golden days of youth far dimmer for this generation. Coupled with these direct stresses, parents are losing jobs and income in the home is shrinking. How parents cope with these challenges could affect their child's well-being. In this uncertain time, child abuse may begin or intensify. Education could become permanently out of reach and adolescents stare into an uncertain future. As COVID-19 swept the globe, the United Nations quickly recognized the threat of a parallel pandemic if funding and resources were not devoted to mental health. Early in the year, we noted that children and adolescents are experiencing the stresses of this pandemic at critical points in their emotional development. That is why there is no better time to put a direct confidential communication channel in the hands of young people who need a listening ear. The UNICEF Childline app facilitates counseling appointments and provides a support messaging service. It also tells children about their rights under the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. The Childline app is also available in Spanish, making support accessible to marginalized subsets of children, migrants, who have come to the Caribbean and may experience social isolation, stigma, and a broken connection with their homeland. Prioritizing the psychological and emotional health of children and adolescents falls squarely within UNICEF's global mandate. At the United Nations Resident Coordinator's Office here in Trinidad and Tobago, we are excited that UNICEF, in partnership with Childline, is channeling valuable psychological support straight into the hands of children. The United Nations celebrates the 75th anniversary this month, at a time where the future has never been more unclear. As countries commit to build back better to recover from this pandemic, children, the inheritors of the future we build, require our full intervention now. The needs of children from birth to adolescence are woven across the UN's 17 Sustainable Development Goals targeted to be achieved by 2030. This pandemic threatens major setbacks on all fronts and to achieve progress in the next decade means most vulnerable among us, including children, must be the focus of our attention now. In addition to the generous support received from the UNICEF team, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the Office of the Prime Minister, Gender and Child Affairs, for their continued support and dedication to Childline. This further reinforces their commitment to the protection of all children in Trinidad and Tobago. And now we hear from the Honorable Ayana Webster Roy. Dr. Alois Kamaragie, UNICEF Eastern Caribbean Area Representative. Ms. Marina Walter, United Nations Resident Coordinator. Ms. Mary Munan, Program Coordinator of Childline. All representatives from non-governmental organizations, children's community residences, parents, guardians, caregivers, all our boys and girls. A warm good morning to you all. 
Today is a special day, one where I'm so very honored to address you as we launch the new My Childline app. The app provides direct access to emergency numbers such as the police, ambulance, and fire services. With additional access to counseling, education, health, games, and much more. It also provides services for migrant children in our jurisdiction in the Spanish and French languages. Despite the many challenges faced especially by your children and their families during COVID-19, today's launch shines a ray of light and hope in the midst of darkness as we forge together in ending all forms of child abuse. This new app will serve the psychosocial and emotional needs of our children in tandem with Childline's free helpline service which is available 24-7, 365 days each year by calling 131 or 800-4321 and reporting cases of violence to the Children's Authority hotline at 996 or the police at 999. In 2019, as Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister, I was pleased to lay in Parliament the National Child Policy, which being the first of its kind within a region, will serve as the golden standard of developmental care of our children at every level in society. Our children are indeed our greatest treasure, and therefore, child protection must be everybody's business. Therefore, let us remain steadfast in ensuring that all children are happy, healthy, and confident and their rights respected, protected, and promoted to facilitate their holistic development towards achieving their fullest potential. I applaud Ms. Mary Munan and her team at Childline, who continue to provide structured and consistent outreach to children and their families during the pandemic. These included several virtual workshops and webinars, some of which included the Childline Virtual Ambassador Program, an introduction to psychosocial first aid and mental health and self-care. The government will continue its fruitful partnership with Childline, UNICEF, and the other child-serving NGOs to ensure that this and similar critical services are available 24 hours every day for children. To continue strengthening our child protection machinery, the Office of the Prime Minister will continue to focus not only on building the machinery of care, but also build children's participation in ensuring that their human rights are not trampled upon. We must listen to the utterances of our children and foster their inclusion in all decisions we make surrounding their issues which impact their lives. Their voices must be heard. This year, our focus will be on strengthening their voices through the Child Rights Ambassadors Program, the U Report, and several other initiatives. The sole purpose here is to hear and incorporate the view of our children in what matters most to them. Let our children's voices be heard through the use of the My Childline app and like platforms as we elevate our consciousness and efforts forcefully towards ending all forms of child abuse and support the human rights of our children. As I've said many times before, what we sow into the children's lives we will reap as a nation tomorrow. So let us sow good seeds into the lives of our children so that when our children grow up and write our history they will be good to us. The onus, therefore, is on each of us to create the stable, nurturing, supportive, and enabling environment to promote their physical, social, emotional, cognitive, and spiritual well-being. As I said in the Parliament on Monday, we the adults are the gatekeepers of our children's future holding the keys to unlock their unseen potentials. So let us safeguard their rights, 
secure of future, knowing that the only way to achieve this goal is together. I thank you. This was a production of the Office of the Prime Minister, Information Division. As mentioned previously, the app is intended to be a digital hub for all things related to child protection. And today, we have for you a story as told by Mr. Aaron George, Childline Outreach Officer, where he demonstrates how the app can be beneficial not only for children, but also for all persons interested in child protection. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron George and I am one of Childline's Outreach Officers and today I have the privilege of reading to you all a story which will bring out some of the main features of the My Childline app. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the story. Picture Maria, a 17 year old girl whose parents are separated and she's being forced to move to Trinidad and Tobago with her mother and her little sister. She was extremely upset about the changes occurring in her life, particularly because she now had to adjust to a new environment and she had social anxiety, so making new friends would be difficult. Additionally, Maria recently received her CAPE results and unfortunately, she only passed two out of the eight units she was registered to sit. Her mother did not hesitate to express her disappointment with Maria's performance. This is exactly what I've been talking to you about. I told you that your education is the way out and you choose to follow your waste of time friends. I fed up telling you, your friends will carry you but they don't bring you back. Her mother even created a social media post venting about Maria's performance and many of Maria's friends saw the post and commented laughing at Maria. The post read, You try so hard to support these ungrateful children and the only thank you I get is failure. Didn't know I was raising a dunce head child. The current situation of course at this household is very awkward now. There was little to no communication between Maria and her mother and whenever they did speak, her mother would remind her of her poor performance. As time went by with no friends to talk to, Maria felt herself slipping into a depressive state. She would not eat. She worried about the future and she cried herself to sleep many nights. She felt alone in the situation and did not think that anyone cared about her or her well-being because of one failure. One day while at school, students were told that representatives from Childline were visiting to promote the services of the, organi of the organization. During that session, Maria learned about the My Childline app which was intended to be a digital hub for all things related to child protection and it was available in English, in Spanish and in French. She decided to download the free app to her Android phone after hearing that it was available for both Android and Apple users. As she explored the My Childline app, she was immediately captivated by the vibrant colors and the array of options. Maria noticed that there was a direct link to contact Childline's toll-free helpline and she decided to call, though hesitant about disclosing her situation. The active listener reminded her that the My Childline app also had the web chat feature in case she preferred another mode of communication, a personal diary with a locking feature in case she wanted to record her thoughts or her feelings throughout the day, a mood tracker which could be used daily and an option to request free counseling if she felt depressed, frustrated or emotional about anything at all. Maria inquired about the location of the nearest library as she wanted to go to study instead of being at home. The active listener told her about the places feature of the My Childline app where she could be given directions to health, welfare, educational, migrant support, and even entertainment facilities. 
after speaking with the active listener and receiving information through the web chat feature of the My Child Time app, Maria felt less alone. She was less depressed as she knew that support was in fact available. The active listener helped her to rebuild her self-confidence and self-esteem and reminded her that she was capable of achieving anything that she put her mind to. She even learned that failure was a normal part of life and that developing positive coping strategies could help her to manage the stressors that she was experiencing. Though nervous to approach her mother, Maria felt comforted knowing that professional help was literally at her fingertips. If the conversation didn't go well with her mother, of course. Maria's mom mentioned that she only responded so strongly because she cared about her children's future. Maria praised Childline for guiding her in this process and for developing an app that can serve every individual. She believes that if Childline was not there to support her, she may have followed through with her thoughts on running away or even dropping out of school. Maria told her mother that the app is available to everyone and she should download the app and explore all the great features. Based on suggestions of the active listener, Maria gently suggested that her mother visit Childline's and UNICEF's websites to read articles on parenting and managing stress. Her mother used the web chat feature to thank the listeners for supporting her daughter over the last few days. So with that being said, that was the story. Maria was able to get the help and if she could, so can you. So now, let's take some questions from the viewing public. All right, so hello everyone. And now that we have gotten to this stage in the launch, we will now be entertaining any questions or comments, queries, concerns that persons may be having about the My Childline app. So we'll take those questions now. If anyone has any questions, please feel free uh, to post them and I will respond to them as best as possible. So any questions at all about the My Child Line app? Good morning, good morning. So we're seeing here, this is the app. We're seeing the colors on the screen it's saying, you know, call us, chat with us, request counseling. Good morning, good morning. So anyone, any questions at all about the app? Is your app available for Apple users? Yes, the app is certainly available to Apple users and it is also available to Android users. So you could go to the Google Play Store or you could go to iOS and the file is not very big. It's only about 12 megabytes or so for you to download the app. So yes, it is available to Apple users. Please make sure and you download it. So thanks very much, Crystal, for that question. Any other questions about the app? all right can i report cases of child abuse through the app yes you can report cases of child abuse through the app though the app doesn't have a specific option that says report child abuse cases there is a direct link that will allow you to contact childline's helpline and if you get in contact with childline's helpline you're able to pose any questions make any reports about any cases that you may be experiencing or that you're aware of yes for the necessary intervention to take place and if it isn't a case of child abuse of course you can still contact uh, the helpline and speak to one of the friendly active listeners and they would be more than willing to help you with any questions or thought that you may be having so we have another question here coming out from Alexis and her question is does this app have articles about depression? No, the app doesn't specifically have articles about depression. However, the app will give you a link to UNICEF's page as well as you can visit Child9's website and there you would find a lot of articles about depression in addition to a number of psycho 
educational topics that we generally discuss at the organization. So things like uh, parenting, communication, uh, personal development, you'll find all of that on UNICEF's website and on Childline's website. So please, you could check it out. And like I said, there's a direct link to those things. Yeah, you could see it right there. It says UNICEF online. So you just press that button and it takes you straight to UNICEF's page. Yes, so we have a question here being posed by Makemba, and the question is, is the web chat feature available? Yes, the web chat feature is available through the My Childline app. All you would have to do is go up and you would see an option that says chat with us because not everyone feels comfortable picking up the phone and making a call to the active listeners as well as we've noticed that youths nowadays they are generally at their fingertips in um, terms of communication so having this option available to them is very important so yes you do have an option to chat with us if you don't feel like talking you can send a message and one of the trained professionals will definitely respond to your questions and they'll do so in a timely manner they would uh, give you the information as best as possible any other questions that we have coming about the app right so is the app specific for children or are adults encouraged to download the app also this app is intended for every single person every individual it is about a digit being a digital hub for all things related to child protection so anyone at all who is concerned about a child or concerned about the well-being of a youth you can download this app and of course use the features in it you could call the helpline you could chat with them yeah so children ladies and gentlemen we have reached the end of the virtual launch of the my child line app and if you haven't already i strongly encourage you to go download the app right now from your smartphone device by visiting the google play store or the Apple Store. Thank you and good evening. Hey there, here's some exciting news. Chiline, together with UNICEF, created an app for children and young persons. A selection of cool and colorful avatars to choose from? Check. Need somewhere private to write your thoughts and feelings? Check. How about a place to keep track of your daily needs? Check. Also, if you ever need someone to talk to, Chiline's toll-free helpline is always a click away, or someone is always waiting on the other end of a live chat to talk about anything. The Chiline app also places your rights as a child in the palm of your hand. Just ask Nessa. There are also other fun, educational, safety, and helpful resources available on the app. Download the Chiline app today and you too can have access to all the sun Hola, aquí vemos las noticias emocionantes. Chiline, junto con UNICEF, creó una aplicación para niños y jóvenes. Quieres una selección de avatares geniales y coloridos para elegir. Chequea. Necesitas una web privada para escribir tus pensamientos y sentimientos. Chequea. ¿Qué tal un lugar para hacer un seguimiento de tus estados de ánimo diario? Chequea. Además, alguien siempre está esperando al otro lado del chat en vivo para hablar sobre cualquier cosa. La aplicación Chatline también coloca tus derechos como niño en la palma de tu mano. Solo pregúntale a Nexa. También hay otros recursos divertidos y educativos, de seguridad y útiles disponibles en la aplicación. Descarga la aplicación Chanline hoy y tú también puedes tener acceso a todo esto y más.